There's some tough stories to share yeah. and undoubtedly there's some tough conversations had between parents and their children about stories like these. Yeah, and as a Prince George's County High School mourns the loss of two students in just five days. Wise High School has confirmed a senior died in a violent crash earlier this morning. And this comes days after another senior was killed in a shooting. Our Casey Nolan is live from that school tonight in Upper Marlboro and Casey, this is just really devastating for the entire Wise community. It really is for everyone involved and neighbors tell us in this latest incident on a road not far from the school here. They say speed is a problem and just three hours ago we got new video that shows speed may have been a factor in this case. Two lives lost in just five days, both from the same class at the same school. Tuesday, police say an 18 year old boy was driving this white BMW on Ritchie Marlboro Road when he hit the back of this parked landscaping trailer. He survived and is in the hospital. His passenger, an 18-year-old girl, did not survive. Wise High School confirmed she was a senior at the school. This video, provided by a viewer, appears to capture the crash, which WUSA 9 is not airing in its entirety. But before the impact, you can see the car just miss what looks to be a worker and another car. Neighbors say they saw the car speeding, including Jennifer Rios, who with another neighbor ran toward the crash to help. Grabbed our first aid kits and just ran to the scene to help administer any help that we could give to the victims. Police are investigating the cause. My neighbor, um, child knows the person. I feel bad for anybody who's involved in the matter. Just about five miles away and five days ago, another senior at Weiss High School was shot and killed. Tuesday, the school confirmed it was 17 year old Michael Nawalu. In a letter to parents, the school said, quote, we will remember his easygoing and carefree attitude. And late tonight, I checked with police so far, no update on a motive for that shooting or a suspect at this point. Now, as for today's incident, the car crash, Prince George's County tells us they have had complaints about speed on that road. They tell us they've installed a new traffic light. They put markings on the road itself, and they say police are using speed cameras in that area, but they'll continue to evaluate to see if there's more that can be done. Of course, so police are still investigating as to whether speed was the cause or something else. Yeah, still more needs to be done on that road, apparently. All right, Casey, thank you so much.